Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we are playing through five Animal Crossing towns owned by complete strangers. Well, here we have five copies of Animal Crossing New Leaf all purchased secondhand and I'm hoping still have their saved data on. We're going to be touring their islands, seeing which villagers they lived with, discovering how long they were active for, how they designed their homes, what shop upgrades they've unlocked and much more. So if you're excited to tour abandoned New Leaf towns, be sure to like the video for the them. Let's go! So this town is covered in snow. It is snowing, which means we're dealing with a time traveler here. Let's get into it. Okay, we are <laughs> we're in the town of Woodland, and I'm guessing it's the middle of the night. Um, it's the oh, Leaf sleeping around. Hey, Leaf, nice to see you wandering around town. Looks like we've got apples as the native fruit in this town. Don't know. Oh, actually, we've got a bunch of fruit here. So whoever owned this town has done a lot of the fruit collecting, which is kind of one of it's one of the harder things to do in early Animal Crossings. Um, so I'm kind of keen just to see what the town looks like. Looking at the map, we've got okay, we've got a couple of uh, residents. It looks like we have nine villages, so almost a full town. But I just love the fact that it's snowing. Uh, clearly, we're dealing with a time traveler here. Okay, before we do anything, I guess we should uh, have a look inside the house, see what the designs are like. Okay, we've got... Whoa, we, of course, we're dealing with some cockroaches here. But we've got a very... Okay, I guess I'm a music fan. Lots of musical instruments. Pretty cool house. Hasn't been upgraded that much, but it looks like the second player um, has been up, has a higher upgraded house. So we'll check that out as well. Might as well play some music. I know, musical prodigy, right? <laughs> Okay, before we run around and... Oh, hey. I was going to say before we introduce ourselves to the villagers. Oh, there's two hiding behind the tree. Tank, hey, just moved here, huh? I'm pretty much the boss of this little town. Yep, in Woodland, it pays to know me. Uh, anyway, glad to be here. Call me Tank. Okay, Tank's not used to having active mayor, obviously. Um, okay, let's go ahead and see the second player's house. See, actually, before we do that, let's check out the badges we've got here. So, Mayor Eric... Of Woodland as a fish maniac. It's the only badge. I guess it's a pretty early house, but this this villager house looks like it's a bit more developed. Let's check it out. We've got a wisp lamp, but still we've only got one room, so not too developed. But I see a lot of these cool, these rarer items. And is that the uh, mermaid shells? Pretty cool. I think you have to get those. Oh, wait, we do have an upstairs. Wait, did I miss an upstairs in the other house? Okay, the upstairs has nothing in it. That's a little bit of a letdown. I guess uh, this resident pretty much upgraded their house and then abandoned the town, which is pretty sad. Okay, the thing I love about this is, of course, the fruit furniture, the bed and the table then. We've got this uh, kind of, is this a rose chair or something? It's pretty cool, very basic, not too much going on here. I guess the town was kind of just abandoned before they really got into the game, which is a shame. Uh, they looks like they didn't experience quite a lot. So let's go ahead and see if they managed to upgrade the shop. Okay, it looks like there's only one bridge as well. How, who lives here? We should probably check the villages out. Gabby, let's check the map for the village. Who have we got? Simon, Eric, Static, Tank, Pedro, Freya, Gabby, Buck, Vesta. Static lives here. Where does Static live? We have to meet Static. Wait a minute. Is there? Is that a bug or is that a... What have we got laying here? An Alpine kitchen cart. <laughs> Randomly just dropped on the ground. Red is here. So looking at the tree, it looks kind of small. So I'm guessing this... Uh, this is probably only a few weeks old, this town, so not a lot is happening in this town, I don't think. Okay, it looks like the campsite has been set, which is kind of what, kind of one of the main tasks you do when you first get uh, access to Public Works projects, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and meet Static before we look at the shop. I'm not here, Static! Static is out in the middle of the night. Oh no, I fell in a pitfall! <laughs> Okay, back to business. We're gonna head up to the shops and see if they manage to upgrade. Hey, see if they manage to upgrade nooks at all. Where is the shop? Okay, oh, Super TNT. So what is that? One or two upgrades, I think. Let's check it out. Welcome, welcome, come on in. I really want to check the catalog. See how much items and how many items they managed to obtain in this abandoned town. Timmy and Tommy shopping cart. Let's have a look. Quite a lot of stuff. We get. It's just in alphabetical order, so. It's a lot harder to obtain things in um, New Leaf than it is um, 
new like new horizons for example it looks like they've got the pagoda which i believe is from it possibly is from gulliver so they must have encountered gulliver at some point you can tell it's an early development this town you can tell that it hasn't been used much but hey two sleek items nice Okay, we should probably check um, the... Oh, the museum's the other side. I can see we've got Leaf Unlocked, Leaf's uh, shop there, which is pretty cool. Okay, it's so weird having the museum on this side of the town. On my, In my own New Leaf town, it's on the other side. But let's check the notice board. Woodland Museum Exhibit Guide. Okay, so Eric and Summer, the residents of Woodland. Eric is the fossil boss by the looks of it. And Summer has been donating some, but Eric, pretty much donating all the fossils there. Which sounds pretty close to being complete. Lots of bugs as well. Lots of fish. Wow. Okay, it looks like the museum might be nearly complete. No pieces of art, though. Uh, so it looks like they gave up on the town just before meeting Red, potentially. Because Red is in the plaza now. So maybe they just didn't get around to meeting Red. Um, okay, let's see how many bells they had saved up. And welcome, please, Slay, from the following options. Uh, withdraw. Do we have any money saved? No deposits have been made into your account. Uh-oh. Okay, let's head back to the main town. I haven't noticed any public works projects around town either, so it looks pretty bare. It seems to me they focused on bug catching and catching the critters, which is it's not a bad way to, to be, to be honest, because it's probably one of the longest challenges in any Animal Crossing game is completing the critters. Um, no one at the campsite, but they have got all the fruit, so they have done a little bit of hard work, I think. Um, it's a shame Static isn't around. I think leaves here because he wants to be like, can we weed this town, please? Okay, so not too much to see here. I guess we should move on to the next. Um, so Isabel's on the train. What? Oh, Mayor, I was just resting my eyes. It's so nice to see a friendly face on the train. I haven't seen you in a while. Where, were you on vacation? Well, how, how long was this town been abandoned for? That's the question. Well, you look healthy and rested. And I'm happy to report that the town is looking sharp too. I just had Leaf do a little weeding. Oh, so this game has just been updated to the Welcome Amoeba update and not played. So the town was abandoned, updated to Welcome Amiibo somehow, and then just left forever. Never played after they updated. Now arriving in Townville, Townville Station. Let's check it out. Okay, another town that's in the evening. And we've, we've got a great outfit going on. Okay, so it's definitely a beginner town. We've got the tiny little house, it's so cute. Although it has had some different designs added to it. But as usual, hey, we've got a very weedy town. Lots of weeds and random flowers. So not too much decorating here. I don't know if we're actually ever gonna find a town that's been fully decorated. Maybe players that have fully decorated towns wouldn't sell them. Um, but this game was abandoned and then updated or somehow received the update to welcome amiibo and then just left forever who's moving in we've got celia okay let's have a look at the other villagers here bangle cole chief vic shari uh elise uh luke uh, lucia and filbert okay at the badges oh the um i'm a cat don't you know harvey from townsville is a cat apparently but doesn't have any badges so they haven't met um phineas yet which is a shame phineas is one of my absolute favorite characters he just randomly pops up and awards you badges it's kind of like the nook miles from uh, new horizons okay before we have a look around town i guess we should check out the house design see what kind of design they're, they're going for Okay, so a little bit of time has been dedicated. Nice pattern, the Zelda pattern, cool. So we've got some random furniture here. We've got a gyroid. Um, we've got some, well, I don't think there's any music playing, but we've got a CD player. Um, oh wow, look at the Hyrule. Um, the Zelda uniform, that's really cool. 
And then we've got a bear. So yeah, tiny room, not much upgrading and no upstairs, but they have done some exterior design as well. Okay, so they've got also, if we take a look at the map, they've got two bridges. So they have done a little bit of developing, uh, but I can't see any public works projects. Hey, Vic, huh? seeing your face <laughs> takes me way back. How far back? It was over a year ago. Wow, this game hasn't been played in a year. If I'm remembering right, we had a mayor who looked just like you who left town one day and never came back <laughs> yeah we've upset the villagers well we did it whoever the mayor was did okay so not too much to look at as well we probably should check out um which shop they managed to upgrade to i like this i like having the cliff here this is quite a cool random um kind of cool having the ramp here going down to this bit creating quite a bit of open space there a um, nice clear night Beautiful moon. Okay, we're not going to get to go in the shop because it's almost midnight. So clearly they, they might have done a bit of time traveling with the clock, but I think the date's right. Okay, so we've got another TNT Mart and Leafs has been unlocked, it looks like. Actually, can we... It's not open, is it? It's open! What? Why are you up at like nearly midnight, Timmy? Oh, cool. Ah, Wobblina! Fine item! Yes, we're just gonna buy it, because why not? Okay, so we've got some cool items here. I love looking in the shops every day. We should probably check the catalog, see how well they did, see how many items they purchased. So this is kind of the stuff they've unlocked, so not many. This is a very young town. I could have sworn I just saw- there we go, fire bar. So they've opened some fortune cookies, but not many items, so they haven't really played this game very long at all. Look, it's quarter to midnight, <laughs> and the town's open. What is this? And by town, I mean shop, of course. Okay, let's check out the museum, um, and we'll see how many things they donated, if any. So Townsville, Harvey, definitely the... Uh, <laughs> Fan of fossils, it looks like. Got a T-Rex tail in there. So a few fossils, probably about, what do we think? There's probably about a fifth of the fossils there. A handful of bugs. One fish. One fish. And no pieces of art. Seems to be a pattern at the moment. No one likes donating the art. Maybe when they find a genuine piece, they want to keep it. But yeah, so we should probably also check how many bells they managed to save. Just because why not? Oh, Phyllis. We've just got to avoid talking to Phyllis. So, withdraw. How much money is in the bank? Please use the touchscreen controls. Oh, okay. We've managed to save 900 bells. Well done, old mayor. It was better than one of the other towns that had zero bells in it. Um, I don't even want to talk to Phyllis. You look like you're just going to have a go at us for not being here for a year. Okay, we're going to head back to town, I guess. Um, oh, the dream suite's not even open either, so... Not too much progress in Main Street either. Okay, we're back to town. There's not a lot going on in this town. We've got a new villager moving in. Oh, there's a second player. And they didn't play it for very long at all, did they? Oh no, new save file. So someone did delete their progress on this cartridge. So either they never played it, which is unlikely because it's on version 1.5. It's been updated at some point, but before sending it and selling it online secondhand, they deleted their save. No, on to the next. <laughs> Okay, we have Star of the Town Crystal, Mayor Star, and we've got a villager right in front of our house. Which villagers have we got in this town? Mo, Peanut, Sly, Angus, Annalisa, Samson, uh, Whitney, and Muffy. Awesome, not a full town, uh, another early town, and uh, you probably won't believe this, but this one also only just received the Welcome Amoeba update. So this is a town before the Welcome Amoeba update, and it was abandoned when the update came out. It looks like Katrina's in town as well, which is pretty cool. So I'll be interested to see how much progress they made. But first, let's check out the badges. Okay, so there is one badge, a fish maniac again. It seems like we've got a pattern. The only badges these old towns are getting are to do with catching fish. Okay, so this house has been expanded, but not much decoration. But it does have an upstairs, which is pretty cool. What have we got here? A little art set? Cool, a bed, some wall um, hangings, I guess. And just a tiny little bit of decorating. Nothing really goes. 
I was going to say maybe they focus more on the upstairs, but we have another empty second floor. So this was, I guess, the, some people just don't give the Animal Crossing games a chance. They didn't get very far. Maybe they got bored of it. I don't know. But it's a shame to see so many empty rooms. The good news is there's been some decorating for the exterior. We've got an awesome diff, uh, like a pink color um, mailbox there. We've got a cool path, which is not the um, default path by any means, I don't think. So that's that looks really cool. We've got a new front door as well. So there has been a little work on the exterior of the house, but nothing much inside. We do have some tropical fruit. It looks like the town fruit must be oranges, um, because apart from some tropical fruit, not much more than that. We have the town tree, very tiny town tree. So probably this town is only a few weeks old. There's no public works projects. There's no hybrid flowers. Um, I don't know whether we're ever going to come across a fully developed town that's been sold secondhand. There's not a lot to see here. Not even the cafe, which is a shame. I don't think there's any of the kind of popular villages either. Let's go ahead and see what the shop upgrades are like in this town. Okay, Nooklin Junction. At least we have a town that's at the right time, so there doesn't appear to be any time traveling here. We haven't got any of the, or many of the shops unlocked. Kix isn't here. Wow, I forgot what it looks like when the shops haven't moved in. So Kix isn't here. Harriet at Shampoodles isn't here. Leaf hasn't even built his shop yet. And we've got the very first nook, uh, Nookling Junction. At this point, Timmy and Tommy might just be glad for a sale. We've got quite a lot of bells, actually. The most bells we've seen so far. Um, but I don't think we really need to buy a toilet or a cactus. Okay, we should probably check the museum. It seems like the most popular way is to have the museum on the right-hand side. Or maybe this is the way the map layout people prefer. I don't know. Let's see if any critters have been donated. Uh, Crystal Museum Exhibit Guide. Okay, Star Mayor Star, which is a cool name because it's got the little stars there as well has donated a lot of fossils. I would say there's probably a, at least 50% of the fossils there. We've got a bunch of bugs as well, and fish, and still no artwork. We haven't found a town that's donated a single piece of artwork. I guess before we head back to town, we should probably check out if there are any bells saved away. Maybe they don't design or buy things because they're hoarding bells. Okay, Pelly, I'm glad it's you and not your sister. Uh, welcome! Let's see, withdrawal. No deposits have been made, no! we I had dreams of finding a rich town! <laughs> okay, let's head back. I do like the outfit. The mayor's style is pretty cool with the hair and the dress. Um, so I guess this eventually this town could have had potential. Um, but at the moment, it was, it was used for a couple of weeks, I think. Some villagers moved in. They didn't even get to the point of putting a second. Oh, there is a public works project. We have a water fountain. Yes, but there's no second bridge. So again, confirms it's very early stages. Someone gave up on this town pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, that's it. I guess that's all there is to do in this town. There's lots of wasp nests. They could have made a lot of money selling these wasp nests. Okay, well, there we go. On to the next. Oh, we're still in a tent. This is the... I thought the other towns were early. Pete, ah, oh, hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. Okay, we've got a very early town here. We have... Finley from town, uh, Mayor Finley from the town of Seaside. And no badges. There's no badges on this profile. So we do have a villager moving in. Who is it going to be? Rocket. Okay, so we don't have one, two, three, four, five villagers. Pippi, Jay, Walt is a cool character. Chester and Becky. Okay, this is a very early town. The, the tree is going to be tiny, the town tree. Okay, there's Walt. Hey, Walt. You're, I, I kind of wanted to move you into my town. Seeing your face takes me way back. It was over a year ago. Yeah, so these towns all seem to be like at least, at least a year old. Everyone was worried that you would never come back. <laughs> Poor Walt. It's okay. We're here now. So here we go. The baby tree. This town was never given a chance. <laughs> this is the welcome amiibo version of Animal Crossing New Leaf. 
how are we falling in so many pitfalls? This is the Welcome Amiibo version, so it doesn't even need updating. So by default, it has the campground and everything like that. So unfortunately, there's nothing to show public works wise. There's no design outside, really. No patterns. The villagers are... Oh, we can sit on rocks. I forgot. There was... Oh, hello. Can you hear me? If you can, follow my voice. Well, did you hear that? Wait, not that way. I'm over here. Sorry, I know it's confusing. He could be anywhere. Yes, yes, you're on the right track. Just this way a bit more. Oh, oh there you are. It was invisible. Oh, thank goodness. Well, hello. As you can see, I'm in a, la I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right. Just pick up the lamp. Take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. Uh, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, here we go. Yes, we'll do it. I mean, this is how you unlock the uh, amiibo functionality in um, in New Leaf to get the RVs and things like that. So it's interesting that someone didn't even play this game long enough to unlock one of the things you do in like the first week. So this is a very, very young town. And we've only got the Nookling Junction again. Oh, cool. We have like a, a dessert stand or something. That's quite a cool item to have really early in the game. And what's this? Is this a new item? A laptop there, it looks like. Well, Timmy, do you want our business? We've only got 9,000 bells. So maybe, maybe we shouldn't buy anything. Uh, let's go and check out if anything was donated to the museum. Okay, we've got... It must have been raining the last time the player played because he's got an umbrella. Unfortunately, none of the shops again are unlocked. Oh, the, I should look at the map, really. The museum's this side. Hey, Pippi. Okay, Seaside Museum Exhibit. Oh, no fossils, no bugs, and no artwork. That is crazy. I can't believe... This is the uh, such a young town. There's, oh, we probably... I don't think there's going to be any. Let's check how many bells have been saved. I would say this town is likely days old. Not even weeks, but days. Okay, please use the touchscreen. Oh, wow. So the youngest town has managed to save the most bells. <laughs> Nearly 200,000 bells. And they didn't even pay off their debt. Why? Okay, why didn't they buy a... Why didn't they upgrade their tent? That's so funny. It looks like they've just been hoarding bells, which I don't blame them, really. Getting a lot of bells at the start of the game is definitely key to kind of unlocking a bunch of things. But as you can see, the town is pretty much empty. Loads of weeds. It looks like, is it... Yep, cherries must be the town fruit. Um, there's not many fruit trees at all. So, and only one villager house. So this town is likely only days old, but they did do some grind to get the bells there. Um, so yeah, wait a minute. Oh no, still cherries. So yeah, not much else to say about this town. Another empty town. <laughs> Okay, so that was five abandoned Animal Crossing New Leaf games. We found a total of four save files with only one player who erased their data before selling their game. Pretty much all of them needed updating to Welcome Amiibo 2. Every town we came across was only weeks old, I think, at best, and most were forgotten about for years. Personally, I was hoping to see a fully developed town, but maybe those kind of players actually keep their games. Who knows? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and comment whether or not you'd like to see this kind of video again in the future. I'd love to know. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and channel members, and I'll see you next time.